Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. So we have a package here. Technically this package was inside of this package because there's two things here. And we're going to go over one of them today. We're going to go over the little guy here. And this is from uh, Paper Skeletons uh, 3D. So we're going to put this to the side for now. We'll probably look at that. Uh, we'll probably look at that box in a day or two. Uh, but this one we're going to look at first. And inside here is our very own. Ooh, he sent me a sticker. I like stickers. Um, <laughs> is our very own uh, Corsair. I think it's pretty straightforward how you put it together. Give me the pieces and the bits. Now this is a string blaster, which usually I'm not a fan of. Um, but I like the form of this one, so I was like, okay. Because the only, the only, um, the only string, well, the only string that I've dealt with in any blaster was, um, uh, God, what was it? I forget what it was. Yep. Yeah. Caliber? No. I forget. Um, but there's been a couple. It was mostly for the, uh, magwells or whatever. So usually I don't like them, but again, this is a little plinker I wanted, and what better colors to get than Halloween colors? <laughs> so I got black and orange because I figured orange because of safety, and then it looks really cool in black. So there you go. So we will put this together very quickly, and uh, I'll bring it back. All right, guys, so here we have it, uh, fully uh, put together. Now, what's pretty cool about this blaster is you do not need a screwdriver to put it together um, or any hardware, oddly enough. It comes with pins, uh, some elastic string bands, and that's it. And then the printed parts. Um, it's all printed parts, basically. So, very neat design um, by, uh, is it Lidl? Lidl Designs, I believe. Um, so basically to put this together, I went to uh, his YouTube channel. He has an assembly uh, video of how you put it together. Um, I'll put that in the description below because you may need that. Um, I know I needed to. Now the cool thing about this blaster is um, it shoots mega darts first off. So you just, the easiest way to do it is you prime it back. So you hold this down, break action so the um, uh, band goes all the way down. Get stuck there. You put the dart in all the way back like so. And there you go. Um, and then with the adapter it comes with, you can also shoot um, regular size standard darts and short darts, which is very cool. Um, and we will get some FPS uh, range with all of that. Um, I'll probably test this waffle head and um, some Gen 3s or 4s or whatever these are. Um, along with the Mega as well. So I'll uh, see you at the door. Alright guys, here we are at the uh, door with the uh, Corsair Blaster that uh, Paper Skeleton 3D printed for me. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll fire three uh, Megas out of this thing uh, first to see what those do uh, FPS wise and then we'll go to three uh, Waffle Darts and then three Short Darts which I believe are the Gen 3 Gen 3 or 4 I can't keep track, uh, but you, you know which ones. <laughs> so let's see what the uh, Megas do. All right, prime it. It's all the way back as far as it's going to go. And let's see what we get. 38. <laughs> yeah. I'm not expecting anything magnificent because it is a string blaster, but, you know, for what it is, it's fun. 51. Hey, there we go. We'll do one more. Throw it down the barrel there, and 52. So, with that other one, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 average with Mega, maybe. We'll go with 40, 45. Um, but let's switch over to the uh, standard waffle head darts. So, as you remember, for the standard links, you need to put in the uh, barrel adapter that comes with. Kind of go straight, and then kind of twist it in there with your finger so it doesn't fly out. 
I'm gonna prime the blaster. Load a dart in like so, just drop it down there. Make sure it's as far back as it can go. 64, okay. So basically, whoop, the barrel came out. So basically like a standard uh, Nerf blaster. And the second dart, 67, cool. And the third one, Sixty-eight, so not bad. Um, now we'll load up the uh, short darts to see what those do. All right, gonna go ahead and load in uh, these guys, single shots, Gen Three workers. Prime it first. Throw one in there. See how far back it goes, like that. And let's see what we get. 64, so yeah. I'm probably gonna say it's probably gonna get the same as a standard dart. First spring, it's not bad at all. 64 again. Sixty-three. So sixties. So not bad for a 3D printed blaster. Um and a string blaster at that, uh, with no hardware at all. <laughs> um, now, your FPS will vary um, depending on how tight you make this string when you tie it off into here. He'll, he'll tell you in the assembly video. Because um, you want it tight enough to draw back, but you don't want it too tight enough where you can't, you know, redo it. So, but yeah, very cool. Um, Thank you again to Paper Skeletons 3D, aka Adam, for making this for me. I really like it a lot. He did a great job on the print. Um, yeah, looks solid, feels solid. Um, I like it a lot. It's a good little plinker toy. Um, I'll leave a link down below for uh, his shop if you want to pick one up. I'll also leave down the digital files um, by Lidl Designs. I forget the actual name. But I'll leave it up here. <laughs> um, but I'll leave the digital ones if you just want to print your own and uh, if you want to do it yourself. Other than that, guys, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool blaster. Uh, we are now, I think, like 77 subs away from 2,000. That's crazy. And uh, I have some new pictures for you of the um, Seagull. Um, I got these from... Uh, Conrad over at Saber because he's still um, looking to make sure that hopefully the Harrier stuff will fit and so far he thinks it's a positive yes. So just want to show you guys these uh, pictures and uh, get y'all hyped up for that and hopefully I have mine in uh, a little less than two weeks. So look forward to that video because I'm excited for it. Um, but other than that guys, if you want to pick this blast up, go ahead and do that. Um, other than that, please like, follow, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that YouTube makes you do to follow me. And uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.